What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are feeling good because I'm kind of feeling good today. Um, welcome to another video of Mikey D. Sorry I don't have any gameplays going on for today. Um, I'm just going to actually sit here and talk to you guys. Uh, getting camera familiar so that you guys get to know me and hopefully you guys will subscribe, like and put the little bell icon so that you can get a post notification every day of my videos uploading to YouTube. Um, let's get to the point where I'm just actually going to talk. Um, as you guys know that I just started my YouTube channel and I don't have <laughs> that much, I didn't have, I didn't receive any much love from the viewers and I have like more views than subscribers and it's going I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Well, I definitely know I'm doing something wrong if you people don't subscribe. So, um, on this current moment, I only have about, I think, 16 subscribers. And I have a lot more views than just the subscribers. So, if my videos is boring, just comment. Just, like, leave a comment there. And I'll see what I can do. I mean, I'm trying my best to 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 actually give you the best content and um I don't have much right now because I'm actually working at night well not at night during the day and I'm working like the whole day from the morning until evening and then I get home late then I spend time with my wife and my family and all that stuff um so yeah there was one thing that I actually want to share you share with you guys um I was one night on patrol with the community group that we actually started because the police don't do their jobs um I'm not picking on the police it's just they don't do their job they 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 more they're more sleeping than anything else um so we we started a community security program and they we we actually keep the the community safe so we are first responders to break-ins we drive around we patrol and um <coughs> so we 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 keep we try to keep the community safe and you know there's there's a lot of incidents that happened there's a, this group um i think they are a bunch of zimbabweans or something they actually come to south africa just to to how can I put it? They they just here to do crime because in their country crime they will they will get killed for crime. So yeah, um just I'm I'm sorry for I apologize for this loud speaking <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me over the the microphone. Um so there was this people that this this I was on my shift uh, me and my wife and my sister and uh, boyfriend we were on our shift you know driving around watching the streets you know checking the dark corners and all that stuff um, then we went to the one fueling station because there's a KFC just in the same complex as the fueling station so we stopped there for coffee because it was like really 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 cold and um, so we actually stopped for coffee and I went to get a monster energy drink and there was this few cops that was parked in front of this filling station shop and uh, there was this guy pro approaching them and uh, talking to them and they were like no they don't know the place they don't know the place they actually came from another place uh, they were only here for like a meeting and all that stuff um, so they 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 pointed to me and you know it's like talk to that guy because I'm a resident here I stay in Messina so um, they asked me we you know if they if I know any place for them a safe place for them to like chill until their friend that's coming from Zim Zimbabwe side to you know to so that he can just across the cross the border through customs and all that stuff so that they can go back home to Johannesburg where they actually come from well where they live 
<clears throat> I didn't ask anything. I didn't, you know, get more information about it. But I, well, I decided to help these people, and they actually. It turns out that they are quite nice people, and usually I never help strangers. Um, I used to, when I was still like uh, soft-hearted, and um, yeah, so I started helping them and uh, dropped them off at one place. Well, not drop them, you know, let them follow me to one certain place that I know was still open at night. Um, so they were sit sitting there, and the place was actually about to close. Um, so the we talked to the manager and he said yeah it's fine you, these people can stay here until your shift over or whatever so we, you know we left they actually asked me why do I help them because they're completely strangers I don't know them from anywhere I don't know them because I don't know much people so I told them no this is actually who I am I'm going to you know you you guys are in trouble and I know it's not safe especially in this town um, I mean, as I sit here in my own room, um, I'm not safe. They actually come into your house and they will, like, rob you and, you know, they will hit you over the head and they will beat you and, you know, in South Africa they rape and murder like they please and the government turns a blind eye to the crime that's happening because, I, th in my opinion, I think the government is staging or, you know, the government's behind all this all the rapes and murders and they're also doing lamb, land claims without compensation so South Africa is in a bad spot in the world and I think personally that South Africa will be taken down by other countries because I mean there was a lot of country other countries like America and China and uh, England and all those places were invested into this into this country and now it's a bad thing because our this country that I'm living in is actually going more backwards than forwards. So instead of a growing country, it's getting to be an undeveloped country, and we are losing losing faith in humanity in our country. So you guys get where I'm going with this. So I st I decided to help them and. On the end of the night, after my shift, I gave over to the new people that was going, you know, taking over the shift. We decided, well, he, he called us, they called us, and we started, he talked and said, okay, well, the guy, we just got a hold of my friend on the border, he's going to take more, more longer than he's supposed to. Um, it turns out they were sitting there, well, sitting here in town from 6 o'clock the evening well the afternoon six o'clock the afternoon so and the time my shift ended was at 11 so they were sitting there for the whole day waiting for their friend so he called me and said okay well I need to book into a place do you know any place that's not that quite expensive so I I gave them a place it's like r just around the corner from my house and the lady I know uh, not very well but I know the lady that's uh, you know that the the owner of the the bed and breakfast that I that they booked in um so I called her and they was like she was like yeah there's rooms open and you know it's the certain price I'm not going to give the amount of price but yeah so you know they were so grateful that I helped them and you know they that's that's actually how you make new friends you you start doing stuff for strangers that it's unexpected nobody will expect somebody else will help them they come from Joburg so I know coming into a uh, a different town, different province, you don't know the place, you don't know where you are going, especially in Messina, there's no, let let me put it like this, before there was gravel roads, there was to tarmac roads, so, you know, getting my point, there's so much bottles, the government's not doing anything to fix the roads, to fix the water lines, the electricity lines, you know, th this country's you have to pay literally for everything. Even the air you breathe, you have to pay for. Well, you know, not really, but yeah, you get my point. Um, so I started helping these people, and they were so grateful. And you know, we exchanged numbers, and I told them about the YouTube channel. So they, I hopefully check. They, I hope, hopefully they checked it out, and um, they let me know about this morning that they actually arrived safely home yesterday, late, late, very late. They arrived home and they 
they are safe so I'm actually glad um, if you guys are watching <laughs> you guys are the best um, I will I will check you out when I actually start traveling the world and the country um, I'm actually aiming to leave South Africa for good um, with my wife to start my own family because um, there's no future for any people in this country the government's taking away all the privileges uh, they they themselves are burning down schools killing farmers and all that stuff so if you are a if you are one of the people that's actually in the into politics sorry <laughs> not in South Africa just skip South Africa just stay away um, but yeah besides that uh, I, would, I would just you know I just want to encourage you guys to help these people I, I, don't, I know I'm not I can't record I couldn't record you know everything that I was doing that night because I'm not allowed to it's against the the thing so yeah um, I just want to encourage you guys like get out of your bubble get out of your shell put put other people needs before yours I know I'm also I'm greedy sometimes you know I would love my own I love my own time because I never have my own time especially from this job that I'm doing um, so yeah I understand where they also came from <laughs> it's 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 a uh, it's it's a uh, it's not a it's not a eye opening thing for me because it's happening all over South Africa. I've been robbed. I've been robbed plenty of times. Uh, traveling around Joburg, traveling around Cape Town, all those places. I've actually lived in Cape Town for quite a few years. Well, almost two years, and I've lived in Centurion. That's also in in uh, Joburg area. Um, yeah, so. Well, guys, I, I would like to encourage you by doing something for somebody else, you know, without expecting anything in return. And just do it because to be you, I mean, be yourself. Don't change for anything else in the world. Not even if your wife says, yeah, but you must change for this and that. Don't. Be yourself. Your wife, you'll get, the your wife must love you for the way you are. So, I mean, yeah, it's always you know people get into fights and argue and all that type of thing so I mean that's that's part of life so um, yeah that's that's all I actually wanted to say I mean I'm not gonna play a video tonight I'm not in the mood I suck I tried recording earlier <laughs> but <laughs> it turned out for the worst and the video was long so I, I, I'm not gonna do a long video tonight I mean I'm tired, really, really. I'm tired. And um, if you guys were wondering, the shirt I actually made this shirt by myself. Uh, this was my grandfather's um, Air Force symbol. You know, the Air Force symbols look like this. And this is when he went to Ecuador to teach the ec the people in Ecuador to fly our old warplane so that we sold to them. Uh, this is the sign for the Grippens, the new South African, um, new South African fighter jets. That's well, they they are not that good actually. I was I used to be into airplanes, and I actually checked a review on this airplane. It's not that good. The old planes that we have, well, we had, um, was the best. You know, it was the best for dog fights and everything, and ground attacks troop attacks, tank, all that stuff it was accurate as fuck <laughs> but yeah, and uh, the sign here is what I actually used in my MMA or kickboxing um, when I used to do kickboxing, this is my this is my star sign Scorpio um, so yeah <laughs> don't worry, I'm not in the Air Force or in the Navy or something, I just I love this shirt because this reminds me of all the good times and you know to honor my grandfather for all the good job well done um, he actually taught me my morals and values um, as you can see I started decorating <laughs> well it's just like yeah there we go one flag right over there that's actually the rugby team the sharks um, in South Africa because I love the sharks I love sharks in general and my favorite colors are black the black my favorite color is black and red so 
well anyway besides that point um guys i also want to know you know leave a comment subscribe share support this channel because i actually want to leave this country i'm serious i'm dead serious to you guys i want to leave this country i don't love it here anymore um i would rather i would rather go to another country and do all that i mean i don't like this <laughs> um as you guys know i don't get any I I'm I, I don't get paid yet to do this YouTube thing because I just started YouTube and I'm not that big in YouTube. Um I'm trying to post videos as frequently as I can if I'm not at work um or if I'm not that tired from work. <coughs> so please guys su support my channel and support me by just leaving a comment, viewing the channel, viewing my videos, subscribing, liking just put both noti post notifications on down in the you know next to the subscribe button you'll see a little bell icon if you click on it it will show you know it will ask you for notifications from this specific channel um, please just do that just to give me more support give us more love because the more you l the more people I get the more I'll c I will do this as a as a permanent thing then I'll then I can finally quit from my job and start doing YouTube so um please just share it i'm gonna leave a descri uh, 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 a little link in the description there's gonna be uh for the gaming game selling website that i i'm affiliated to um it's called g two a games or g two a dot com uh they they actually sell games that you can install on origins and uh, steam and all those type of uplay and you know all that type of gaming companies that actually allowing you to play online so it's l they are legit the games work 100% um, they actually have a sale this week that's ending I think on Sunday and please check it out support me there um, all the money that I'm, I'll be making in that uh, in that affiliate program um, I'm putting it all into YouTube to get this channel up and running like nobody's business. Um, I'm also going to start doing fishing videos and I'm going to do, you know, traveling videos and exploring videos and all that stuff. Not so much of exploring or hunting because, um, you know, hunting is quite expensive in South Africa. Um, and exploring is quite dangerous because of the crime rates that's high and you know the places that's act wo that was cool on 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 its heyday and you're trying to check it out um you know people overran that place i mean those places there's there's a bunch of places here like uh, old army camps and you know the river and where the zimbabweans illegally cross to south africa through the limpopo river when it's dried up so you know i'm trying to just grow in this little channel and my father just walked into the room that's weird <laughs> what's up <laughs> she's not even yeah <laughs> um so yeah i'm just trying to like do what i can to get this growing and get this going i'm actually also trying to start my own business by selling fishing equipment um because i love fishing and i wish i could have have you know just to take you guys with me on this fishing trip so that's why I want you su to support this and you know buy as much games as you can on that website so that I can actually buy myself a GoPro to record my fishing videos and all that stuff so yeah um, I also would like to uh, give my condolences to one of my friends and co-workers um, his father has cancer well I'm not supposed to say cancer um, he doesn't like that word but his f his father has cancer and he was really worried like for this past six seven months he was worried he w he was w really really worried um so he actually took his leave time you know you get the time certain time in the year that you t that you have a annual leave so he actually took his off days and went to his father and visited him at this moment as we speak 
he's still there and we talk, well I talked to him before I came home from work because me and my manager were talking to him we gave him a call and you know asking what's up and he says sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad because of the morphine that he has that his father has to take for all the pain and stuff um, I don't like people suffering if if in with this type of sickness I, I support cancer because I lost a f quite a few friends with cancer and yeah so hopefully you guys will support all your cancer groups in your countries wherever they are just support them not by donating I mean yeah donating helps more but by giving love to the people that actually suffering and that has no one left um, <coughs> I actually have a friend that survived cancer she's she, she's a really strong woman and um, she knows who's I'm, who I'm talking about I went to school with her and her boyfriend is actually one of my best friends and we're like a group of best friends um, we all are scattered now but you know keeping in touch some other times and so yeah um, I would like to give a shout out to uh, to Alec Cameron <laughs> it's one of my friends is actually supporting me with YouTube um, I'm coming to you later with game um, we are playing Fortnite on mobile Ach, not Fortnite. Fortnite's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, what do you call it? PUBG. PUBG on mobile. Um, we actually <laughs> have a lot of fun there. I was... I actually apologize. I didn't record those type of things. Um, but I will get to it along the time. Uh, if I get the time to. Uh, I've been so busy. I haven't been talking to him in like two weeks. <laughs> it's, I've been crazy busy. I bet he's also crazy busy with... Um, he's helping his dad in his business. So... Yeah, this is this is basically my life. I mean, guys, there's not much, no much to there's not much to talk about. I mean, my life is boring as the rest of this country, but um, I'll be ta I'll be taking off some time from my my full time job and actually do some exploration videos and I'll show you the places where I grew up as a child and I'll live most of my years and uh, actually the places where I actually explored when I was still young and with my friends in school so I'll also show you where I went to school and you know giving you guys more 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 entertainment so if this talk was boring for to you guys I'm sorry but I had to do this I mean we had to talk and you must know what I'm why I'm doing this um, it's not a sad story or a sobby story or you know I don't have this background of you know this struggle or whatever I know there's a lot of guys that struggled and actually made their their lives through YouTube so I mean thanks YouTube I'm, I'll, I'll give YouTube a shout out also I mean they are great and this is what I actually wanted to do except for being in the army <laughs> or protecting the rhinos um, so yeah if you guys would just support support the channel Leave a leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, share to everybody you know. Share to even if it's your grandmother <laughs> or your grandfather or whoever. Share, please, guys. Support this channel. Support support not just me. Support yourself to get more content. I mean, it's out of South Africa. There's not a lot of South Africans that's on YouTube, or there is, but nobody knows of them. So. I'm gonna do my best tracking all those little channels from South Africa to support them um, if they are quite good and then I recommend them to people on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff I'll also leave my uh, Instagram profile the link to my profile in the description uh, I'm not gonna put it the Facebook one because I'm not on Facebook a lot so hopefully you guys would like uh, hopefully you guys like this video and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Yes.